Hello viewers, today I decided to take the camera and show you on what I'm working on and uh, what I have found interestingly enough in this BMW E63. Actually this car is on one of my subscribers which contacted me on the telephone. He had some issue with his alternator. Uh, the car was not charging his its battery so, so yeah we decided to take a brand new alternator. Yeah and actually I have sent the alternator for rebuild his, his alternator. But after uh, the person which I'm using for rebuilding alternators uh, opened up his alternator, it turns out that the stator inside was completely gone and the stator itself is not sealed. So the only way to go was with a brand new alternator. But this video is not going to be all about this. I'm going to show you why, why I decided to take the camera and show you what I have found in this car. So now I'm just going to post a short video of my other video materials which I'm talking about this issue. Before we continue with the installation of the pistons, I just want to say a few words about the bearings which we're going to replace. This is the bearings which we removed from the corn rod. And yeah, actually they didn't look so bad. This is the war or bearing which is, has a little bit of wear, cosmetic wear, nothing crazy but yeah it's not a bad idea to change them. But before that I just want to show you how to install them because it can be a little bit tricky. So we can clearly see on the corner side, let me see where it was, it's not going to be so clearly to see it but it has marking on it. So Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see this S here on the corner rod where the bearing should be installed. So we have S here and if we take a look on the bearing which was installed there, we're going to see the same S. So this bearing shell was installed on the corner rod side and on the corner rod cap we don't have anything like a letter and on the bearing on the back once again nothing so just to show you the difference if you lay them one to each other you can clearly see that you can mess them up because they are in in design they are the same with this key here they are the same so you can mess them up but as we can see the numbers yeah, the numbers are different and yeah, especially with this S. So uh, I have seen people installing, the, installing them wrong, which can lead to premature wear of the bearings, which can lead to total engine failure, because this is the set which most of the time came and they are, they are coming like six normal bearings and six sputter bearings. So. Let me show you the, the name. So as we can see we don't have S, we have this spotter. Uh, we don't have the S, but uh, this is the bearing shell which we need to install on the corner side, not on the cup. And I have seen people, because they are coming like that. Let me show you. Six of the spotter bearings are in the package like that, to one, one to each other. And the other six, the normal bearings, are once again on the other side of the package. And most of the time, my colleagues are just taking bearing after bearing like that and start to install them one by one. So, as I told you, they, they're going to fit without any problems because this key is identical on the both bearing shells. And I have seen colleagues of mine that have installed bearings like that, two spotter bearings on one corn rod. And two normal bearings once again on one corn rod. Okay, as we saw, I was talking about yeah, the corn rod bearings and here are brand new bearings, Kobe Schmidt, yeah the part number is, is this one. So as we can see we have six spotter bearings and six normal bearings. The normal bearings should be installed on the cap of the corn rod and the spotter bearings should be installed on the corn rod itself, on the top part. Because the top bearing has much more wood than the bearing is out on the cup. 
Аз съм Кенсиди си с Пътър Беринг. Една лайм гонка, която му да Беринг, който чува си инсталтон да кап. И това е сеген с Пътър Беринг. Това е. 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 Because of the charging, but uh, he decided he wants to change the timing chains on the car. Here are the old timing chains with the guides and everything else. I saw that someone previously, before the owner bought the car, he has worked on this engine. By work on this engine, I mean he have removed the, the cylinder head, he have done some other jobs, which I did not like a lot, but uh, yeah, for sure this engine have seen some rebuild of some kind. That's why I decided to remove the conrod caps because of this really known issue of my colleagues which are making by issue I mean mistake installing the spotter bearing on the bottom cap and not on the top so I am not sure and the owner I am not sure if he's sure when when the rebuild have, have been done so we are not sure on how many mileage these bearings are Uh, but still, they are not spawned or anything like that. I'm just going to show you. This is one of the normal bearings. And this is one of the spotter bearings. So I'm just going to show you the difference. Yeah, as we can see, the normal bearing has a lot of life left in it. But still, just to show you the difference between the two bearings. You can clearly see the wear on the normal bearing. And the condition of the spotter bearing It's like a brand new one. So the reason this happened is once again because of some colleague of mine have decided to install the normal bearing on the top of the cone rod. So I have found out, yeah I haven't removed the six cone rods because I don't have access to the other two ones but as I am telling in the video probably he took the bearings two by two and he started installing them on a cone rod after cone rod. He didn't notice that there are different types of bearings. So that's why we have two spotter bearings on one cone rod and two normal bearings on one cone rod once again. So which means on cylinder number one, two and three he have installed normal cone rod bearings and on cylinder four, five and six he have installed only spotter bearings. So I'm not sure how much this engine was going to last like that. It's going to be a really interesting experiment but still it's going to be from engine to engine and oil to oil. Uh, but still I believe we saved this engine from a spun cone rod bearing because for sure this bearing was not going to last so long like the spotter bearings as we can see they are like a brand new ones without any wear on them. It is just a lucky owner uh, because I have spotted this I just decided to remove one of the, the cone rod bearings and uh, yeah probably it was lucky to me because I decided to remove on cylinder number five. The lucky guess was because The previous engine builder decided to install the spotter bearing on cylinder number 5 on the, on the cap on cylinder number 5 and that's, that's when I understand that he, he have made this mistake. So now I'm going to start brand new bearings, cone rod bearings. Once again the normal bearing I'm going to start it on the cap and the spotter bearing is going to be on the top as it should be installed, not like here. And yeah, we're going to use some plastic gauge to see the clearance between the... Probably it's going to be fine, but I just want to be sure that it's going to be fine. So I'm going to start the new bearings with plastic gauge. We're going to see what is the clearance. And uh, yeah, I have bought some new bolts for the core rods. Uh, and yeah, I have checked one of the main bearings. It has small amount of wear. It's not like a brand new one, but at least it's original one. Uh, so hopefully it's going to last for a long period of time. But yeah, the main issue is the cone rod bearings. Okay, so we tested the four cone rod cups to see what is the clearance. Now I'm going to show you. Yeah, we have left with uh, four bearings, two spotter ones and two normal because uh, I'm not able now to remove uh, the cups on cylinder number one and six. Just to show you underneath, this is the marks of the plastic gauge. Now I'm going to show you how is the clearance. Just for the people that don't know, the spec clearance for this engine is between 0.0 let me show you. Between 0.020, yeah, here is 25, but uh, the clearance is once again 0.020 millimeters to 0.055. So 
So now I'm going to show you that the, all the four which we have measured now are in spec and that and after that we're going to continue the other two. So this is on cylinder number two. It's a bit hard to show you what it's between 0 0.38, 0 0.038 and 0.50. So more as you can see, I'm As we can see, it's a little bit bigger than 0 0.50, which is in spec. Yeah, here we uh, we have uh, touched the hole, uh, we have met the hole while measuring, but still. Uh, it's really hard to show, it's really dark here, but still it's bigger than 0 0.50 Here, once again, bigger than 0 0.50 And here, around 0 0.50 So yeah, still in spec, as I told you, 0 0.055 uh, is the minimum spec which you want to meet Still, I'm sure that this engine can run with more than 0 0.055 And yeah, for checking this clearance, I have used the old bolts, not the new ones This procedure is tending to get in closer spec when you are using the new bolts So this means when we tighten up the bearings with the new bolts The clearance is going to decrease, so we're going to go more closer to 0 0.038 to this mark so, but still, even with the old bolts, we are in spec, so it should not have any issues with it. So now I'm going to clear up the plastic gauge on all of the, the corn rod bearings, and we're going to reinstall them on the corn rods with this time with assembly loop. So this is the last two bearings on cylinder number one and six, and pretty much the clearance on the journals of the crankshaft is identical on pretty much all of them as you can see I have installed brand new bolts on the corn rods and now we're going to end up putting some assembly loop on the journal and we're going to reassemble the last two corn rods and we're going to continue with our lives with changing of the timing chains which once again this uh, car going to receive this is all of the parts that the owner wants to to change so he wants to maintain his car as good as possible that's why he bring it to me we have bought a lot of OEM parts so yeah I know this car is getting older but it still is expensive to maintain it so yeah there are a lot of things which you're going to want to change if you if you want this car to be reliable that's why we are doing it I just wanted to show you this part of the video where I saw that there is big issue in the engine Okay, so this is the last two bearings on cylinder number 1 and 6 Once again, on the 6 was spotter bearing On number 1 was normal bearing Once again, on the top of the corn rod So we can see the difference in wear Pretty obvious And yeah, I'm going to end up with, uh, with the video about how I knew that this engine was involved in some major repair it's pretty easy to know by just looking the cylinder head bolts as we can see it's pretty obvious that they are a brand new cylinder head bolts they are installed so by this you can know that the cylinder head have been removed for some reason and yeah pretty much i'm going to add up the video here i'm pretty pretty much ready with the installation of the timing chains with all the brand new parts and everything I'm just going to install the cover and I'm going to be ready with this timing chains uh, but uh, this video was all about the corn rod bearings and uh, to make note of it so okay guys I'm going to end up the video here hopefully it was helpful for some of you thank you for watching and see you in the next video